I'm very delighted to be joined by CNN chief medical correspondent, Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Thank you for coming back. For also with me, uh, De attorney Deborah Oprey. Why is he so reluctant to pronounce somebody dead who everybody else is saying is clearly dead? You heard the recording. They're like, we'd like to pronounce him dead here. Jay, why did they... Oprey. Dr. Murray clearly did not want the responsibility. He wanted to be in a hospital setting and all of that. What, what I want everyone to remember, we have just started, folks, and when you have the testimony of the security guards and everyone who started coming into the room one at a time, you have people being witnesses to he looked dead he looked dead paramedics come in no pulse no pulse for for all intents and purposes uh you know you have to look at how long dr uh murray was out of that room and if he was out of that room longer than two or three minutes you've got your gross negligence you've got your conviction all right well i want to thank you all for uh having a little debate about this, but there's only one doctor in this house, and that is <laughs> Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Thank you so Here much, help. doctor. Yes, thanks. Uh, up next, we got never-before-seen Casey Anthony Jailhouse video. It's just been released. It's a shocker. In order to protect Mrs. Anthony's right to a fair trial, uh, seal the tape at that time. Now, this video was originally sealed to protect Casey's right to a fair trial. There she is, doubled over. Doubled over. The defense wanted to keep it under wraps, even now after the verdict, saying it would violate Casey's right to privacy. The judge disagreed. All right, uh, Deborah Oprey, this video, do you think it's incriminating? Remember, it's before anybody knew those were little Kaylee's remains. Yes, I think it's incriminating because in an open area of publicity here, you have this public area in the waiting room, you have a woman who is reacting to evidence possibly being devastatingly horrible for her and she's reacting. Did the judge make the right ruling? Of course he did. Is it something now should, that should be let out to the public? Of course it should because there's no further harm to her in terms of being denied. It's double jeopardy. 